Believe me, this is the spot. Look at these trees, Bob. You might have hung in one of those trees. This is the way it looked then. These are the trees you see here. These are the trees. Yeah. This, is the, this is the road here. Oh, okay. And these are the tracks. These are the tracks. We're now standing on the tracks. Oh. You have crossed the tracks like this. They're gone, of course. Right? They're yeah. gone. This is now They're a bicycle gone. path here. Because uh, after World War II, the tracks were s destroyed totally. And so they, they just rebuilt it in the 1950s or 60s. But everything was gone. Here's a better picture. You are now looking to this side. This is how the field was then. You see the parachutes hanging in the trees? Yeah. How far were you from the road? Uh, he said uh, three or four li lines, uh, tree. tree lines. Mm. So he was about um, 15, 20 yeah. foot in, in, in the trees, in the wood. And he came out, he came out, and he went over the tracks. And that's where you saw the communication wire that you cut, the German communication yeah, wire. It was laying all here. Yeah, oh, oh. Either on the other side one, I don't know. Oh, do you side. remember? Yeah. You remember this, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. And these are Polish prisoners of wars. You guys freed them. So you, these guys are not Germans. They are Polish prisoners of wars, laborers. And this is an American soldier. And the Polish prisoners helped the Americans to take care of the supplies. They're the, the supply bags. This, this is the, the wood we're looking at now, like this. And this is, this is your drop zone. This is drop zone whiskey, the 507 drop zone. So you land it right on spot, perfectly, just somewhere here in the trees black line that's the track the railroad track it was a streetcar track it was not a railroad track but of course you remembered it as a railroad track but it was tracks of course so you have passed those tracks and then there was this open field and when you looked slightly to your left you were able to see the bridge those days because there were no buildings at all there were no dams so you, and there were no leaves on mm. the trees so you were able to see the bridge but it was far, more far away than you thought yeah. and to your to your right side there is the dam that you saw yeah. and here's another picture you said something about um, taking german prisoners on that field look at this these are all the prisoners that you saw. That was on that field here. Yeah, I was told that there was 2,000 of them. Could be. In, in two hours. Could be. I, I, in my opinion, it's too much, but well, that's could, be. could be, could mm. be. This is again the tree line. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is where you came down. Amazing. Yep. how high up they were they weren't that high back then they weren't that high, yeah so you think there was when you hit the tree that you were in a little bit a little uh, a shorter tree yeah they were so low to my shoe hung mm -hmm. at the top of it when i just barely touched the ground so they've grown 
more than twice as high as they was back mm -hmm. then. But when I came out in the open here, yep, I was I was right by myself. There's nobody here but me. But uh. Which way is which? Seems like they come out like this. Yep. And you could have seen with the without he was saying the buildings weren't here, so you could see the bridge. It was three miles that way. But them buildings what they They weren't there. Nothing was there. And it was the bridge okay. was getting bombed. When I come out I didn't know where the main unit was at, but I heard, if I'm not mistaken, there was trees out in there. I could hear the biggest bunch of the bar coming over there. So uh, I went the other way where I was hearing the most. You went left towards the bridge or I went right? Towards the far end where they were really okay. shooting. Yeah. Is it possible would they were, oh, well, this house it is could now. Be either he was way. saying there was another think. set of woods across the, the, where there was a major firefight going on. He said across there was another woods. Uh, it was. They seemed like they, the woods, and then over behind it was an opening. That's where I, we, I seen the prisoners. At. That opening. Wherever you had. Yeah, yeah, but the prisoners were which here. Was, that field. I don't know which way it was. Okay. So you said when you came out of the woods, mm -hmm. there were those tracks that you have passed. You cut those communication wires. And there were there were another another woods or then there was more. It, uh, they were, I couldn't see them, but I could hear them. Yeah. over like that I could see the legs. I see somebody's legs. And how far how far was that other paratrooper from where you landed that was still in the tree? Uh approximately a hundred yards. One way or the other. And what did he say to, what did he say to you? He said well, I heard somebody holler, hey, and I was looking around like that. He said, up here. So I looked up, and he was hanging out there on the limb. Limb was off from the tree, and he was hanging out here. Of course, the shoot was caught here, and he was hanging here. But there's no way I could get up a tree or and I couldn't, I was thinking, I couldn't cut him loose because if he, if he did, he'd be too far to fall. So, that's when I said, I'm gonna see if I can get some help for you. And then I started, when I walked off, that's the last thing I remember. What did he say to you though? Didn't he yell down to you? He said, that damn German shot me. Well, I was hanging up here. So he, so a German walked by and shot him with a rifle, maybe? Oh, uh, uh, so he did. He just said that damn German shot me, hanging up here while I was hanging here. But I don't know what. I don't remember. Mm. I don't remember what happened after that. 